Hey there, little mama. Are you having a kid that's getting bullied? Is your kid bullying? You know what? I've been on both sides of this fence. I've been both sides of this problem. And I, w- I, I didn't know what to do. Because remember, what I've told you before is like, motherhood isn't a natural talent. It's a skill and you can learn it. But no one really taught me what to do. Well, I have a guest today that's going to teach us exactly that on Moms Like Us Do Things Like This. Welcome to the Moms Like Us podcast, where moms just like you learn strategies, systems, and skills through expert interviews and real life insight designed to take your marriage, mothering, and home to the expert level. Hi, I'm Mona Corwin, your mom mentor and host author, international speaker, and the founder of the Moms Like Us Academy. I've been coaching moms for over 25 years, and I have some really good news for you. Motherhood isn't a natural talent. It's a skill, and you can learn it. You can crush it at motherhood instead of motherhood crushing you. So let's get to today's show. Hey there, Sandy. We are in part two of talking to you about all things with kids and the bionics and everything. Now, what our um, listeners, this is part two, so I'm just going to go quickly over some of your bio. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good, good, good. Um, So Sandy is, this is Sandy Austin, and she is a... Um, counselor, and she is a, has developed an amazing program called Bionic, and it's a Bionic team, and it's created for schools, and it's amazing. She's going to tell you a little bit about it, and then we're going to get into what to do about bullying, because as moms, we absolutely do need to know this. Now, Sandy has created this, all of this, because she was a counselor, Uh, called in as a counselor for the Columbine shooting. And out of that, and then finding in another school, several, several, was that eight? Eight? Four four suicides. Four Four suicides suicides in eight months. Four suicides, that's right. Four suicides Mm -hmm. in eight months. And so Sandy's like, something has got to change. Because all of these programs that they're having aren't making a dent into the problem. And she created the Bionic Team. And it's a program for students to make a difference in kids' lives. And guess what? It works. So, Sandy, tell us real quickly about Bionic to catch everybody up. If you haven't listened to um, part one of this, you're going to want to go back and hear the complete thing about the Bionic Team. And then... um, We're going to talk bullying and what we can do to help our kids if they are the bully or if they are being bullied. So, Sandy, just give us a quick overview of what Bionic Team is. You bet, Mona. It's such a privilege to be with you and your moms today. Uh, Thank you for doing the most important job in this world. So bless you all. I know you've been through some difficult times these last few years. Um, So anyway, so the Bionic Team stands for Believe It or Not, I Care. And as I went through the uh, Columbine tragedy and then my at my own school, the four suicides, uh, I just I found that we needed to empower kids to reach out to their peers. So what we do is we reach out to kids that are new, that are sick, that are bullied, that lose loved ones. And we reach out to other schools that experience tragedy. And we have some other things that we do, uh, bringing in the elderly and encouraging them and trying to bridge that generation gap. And we have a 1010 Eye Care Day that you'll be able to hear about all that stuff on on the other, on part one of this. But it's just empowering kids to um, take their eyes off their phones and look around at the needs around them to let their peers know you're seen, you matter, and people care. I think uh, I think this is one of the um, highlights of uh, what needs to be done. It's highlighting what needs to be done. And that's creating empathy and compassion that, unfortunately, social media is creating exactly the opposite of more drawn in and all about me. And it is literally programs like this are making a difference so that maybe they won't be bullying people. Maybe they will reach someone and be able to um, help 
uh, help someone who is hurting that's in their school. Kids are on the ground. They know. They're the ones that they see. I mean, how many of, you don't have to answer this because I know you know the answer, but like there was lots of kids that knew something was going on. You hear that every time there is, is a problem like this. People are like, oh, well, so-and-so was saying this and that. And this program really helps with that. Plus, just telling people that you care in such an easy way. So please go back and listen to part one. I learned a lot. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm fired up about this program. But today, we're going to talk about another program that uh, Sandy has. If you're in the Moms Like Us Academy, you are going to be getting a special teaching from Sandy on bullying. So if you're not in the Moms Like Us Academy, why not? You need to be. The link is below and go and check out the, um, the Academy and join us where we have experts just like Sandy that teaches stuff every month. And then we have lots of other good stuff. You can check it out. But today, Sandy, tell us about the other program that you have for bullying. You bet. So um, uh, in the schools, we have a program called Prevent Bullying by Just Saying Hi, where we have the, the kids uh, reach out to get help from the adults for the H. And then I is initiate contact with that bullied student sometime that day for the kids to encourage them and let them know there is support for them at school. Um, because often bullying, when bullying happens, it, it just isolates that kid and just makes them withdraw and they feel like no one cares. So anyway, but what happened is I was thinking, especially over this last year, uh, with everything that was happening, and moms, you know, you know this, with COVID, what we saw is kids regressed in their social skills. We've, I've been hearing even in this last week or so that uh, the eighth graders are acting like sixth graders. They don't know, they forgot how to uh, talk with kids. And, and, you know, if someone looks at them in a certain way, you know, a couple of years ago, that wouldn't bother kids. But now being with all the stuff that's happened with COVID and everything, uh, th that really destroys them, that really bothers them. And so that's the situation is uh, with this, I, I thought we, what happens is when there was a situation at school, we would send the kids home, the bullies and the bullied students, but we wouldn't tell the parents what to do. So the kids are crying, they're, uh, they're upset, things like that. Parents are going, what do I do? What do I do? And so I thought, oh my gosh, my 21 years of counseling experience, I can help and, and just uh, give you guys some empowerment as far as what to do. So basically, our uh, bully prevention course um, is uh, called Stop Bullying. So S is to support your child by creating awareness around what bullying is and what to do if they see it. Um, uh, the T is take action after a bullying incident to recover your child's emotional well-being as quickly as possible. O is obtain strategies to safeguard your child from being bullied in the future. And then the P is to prevent future bullying in your community by empowering your kids, your uh, circle, your neighborhood, your school, your church, um, all of your realms of influence to stop the bullying in your community. And so uh, different things that I'll be talking about. Uh, so within each module, there are three lessons. And so the first one for supporting your child, we talk about what is bullying. We talk about uh, uh, teaching them what bullying is. You know, sometimes kids are teasing and things like that. Some is bullying, some is not. So learning about that, what is the difference on that? Um, what to do if they see bullying? What can they do to help that bullied student or to change the climate of that school? Uh, what to do if they are bullied? How to get help. We tell the kids, talk to your parents, get help and everything. And what I love about it is, is that I have a care points um, handout with each of the lessons. <clears throat> and what that is, is that helps your, uh, you talk with your student, your kids after the lesson and you can have your kids watch the lesson, or if you don't, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Some of the lessons are about seven minutes long. Some of them were 15 minutes, so you can just sit and you can um, check it out. Sometimes I say in the introduction that um, this may be one that you don't want your parent, your students to, uh, your child to be watching. Maybe you watch it and then see if you want to have them watch it afterwards because of some of the things I talked about. But anyway, so what is amazing? What I've been hearing is that some of the parents are going. Oh my gosh, 
you are helping us. We haven't had a lot of good communication with my kid as they're getting teenagers. A lot of times kids don't want to talk to you. But what we do on this, I talk about how to start this conversation to say, hey, I'm taking this bully prevention course for parents and I want to talk with you and see what's going on. Anyway, so we go through that. So it's some incredible conversations that you'll have with your kids after each of those lessons. So that was the S. Um, and then again, we have the, these uh, discussions after every lesson um, in the take action one, uh, what to do to reassure them if they have been bullied, how to talk to them about that and let them know that you are a safe person as their mom to talk with about all this stuff. Because what happens a lot of times the bullies will threaten the kids and say, don't tell anyone. And so that's where we tell them, no, talk to your parents. And that's where as a mom, you can learn how to let your kid know you are a safe person for that. Also, uh, we let you know the resources available to you. Um, you. You'll be able to see, okay, is this really serious? Does my kid need more help? Do I need more help about to learn about this bully situation, what to do? So we talk about some uh, resources in your community or online to be able to help you with that. And then we just talk about how to deal with them about any shame or humiliation they mm -hmm. may be feeling as a result of that a result of that bullying and that type of thing. So that's very important. And module three, as far as obtaining strategies to safeguard your child from being bullied. Um, number one, we talk about, I, I love this. This is my favorite lesson. I'll really get into this in your mom's academy. I talk about your kids' unique personalities. You know, if you have two kids, if you have three, if you have four, if you have eight, they all have different personalities. They all have different uh <clears throat> different aspects of them that make them unique and so can be their personality their temperaments their love languages all these different things i'll talk about those and how they play a role in how you can counsel them uh, regarding bullying because uh, for me um if someone uh okay for my sister and me my sister she's tough and she'll you know she's good at talking through things and um, if a kid bullies her she'll just say shut up and get away from me or whatever you know for me if someone says something it settles in my heart and it bothers me for days so that's it the different personalities of your kids so that's that's uh, what you'll learn there about um, how to deal with each kid with their unique personalities and their unique makeup. Um, so, and then we talk about how to build up their confidence and to see that, you know, okay, what do I do um, about bullying? What do I, you know, just talking about giving them experiences to build their confidence, not just about bullying, but just about who they are and the gift they are to this world. And again, each of your kids is different. And um, so I, I talked through all that. I just, again, this is my favorite teaching part. The next one is support networks for kids and how to get them into support networks. For example, if your kid is in the anime club at school, um, what's, what happens is uh, when they're together, people won't bully them. So, well, sometimes they do, but that's where through this bionic program, we're trying to stop that. But what's good is if there's any bullying, they've got those other kids around them. And so a lot of times bullies will tend to only bully a kid when they're alone walking in the hall or something like that. So, but that's what we'll talk about. Make sure you connect your kids with like-minded kids of interests and, and personalities and everything to be able to create that supportive network for them at school or whatever group they're in at the church or um, community uh, organizations and things like that. And then module four about the prevent bullying in your community by, emp by empowering your circle and your realm of influence. We talked about what are your realms of influence? What groups are you involved in that you can help um, in, in, uh, inspire them to do something about bullying? Um, and let me be honest, uh, some churches say, well, it doesn't happen at my church. It happens everywhere. I've taught in all kinds of schools, private, um, public, everything, uh, every, everywhere I've ever been where there are two kids, there's probably bullying. So that's it. Um, so anyway, what are your realms of influence and how can you, uh, influence them to, to make a difference? Um, also what are some strategies at your school, at your groups? You know, what are some strategies there to be able to, um, stop the bullying? Um, and our hope is, is that, for example, our prevent bullying by just saying hi program. And we talked about this as far as one of the strategies for schools. What we hope, basically what that program is, is um, you, you, you create a 10 minute PowerPoint presentation that uh, they can, the, the bionic team gets out to the school, um, either through video or actual presentations. And for that, we encourage you to get other kids involved from other different uh, 
uh, groups at the school, the teams, the choirs, everything like that. So all the kids, as they're hearing these presentations, they're seeing that kid is in my group. So I want to listen to this. So anyway, so that's another part there as far as developing uh, our, our hope is that through those 10 minute presentations, as we're presenting the prevent bullying by just saying hi program in the schools um, through the bionic teams, again, spearheaded by them. Uh, we're hoping that for the entire month, we're saying to the kids, you guys report every single type of bullying, every single situation. And then what we're hoping is if, if every bullying incident is reported for a month, the bullies are going to go, I can't get away with it here. And the bullying just dramatically, um, you know, is reduced. And that's the thing. Now, again, uh, the situation is kids that are bullies typically have been bullied. And so all of these things that I'm talking about, that that um, relates to the kids that are bullied. And that's the thing is, is that understanding that, that the kids that are acting out in those ways, they are hurting and they're crying out for help. And that's where uh, we give all this information about how to reach out to those kids too. Um, so again, the community partners, how to bring your PTA and your parent groups, your HOAs, you know, all the different groups there that uh, the, the sports leagues, uh, youth sports mm. leagues, all these different things, how to bring everyone together. You know, it was interesting after the Uvalde shooting recently, um, every, you know, they had the, uh, the greatest uh, combined effort ever on the gun legislation. Personally, that is not the answer. It's good if we can, you know, reduce some of that. The thing is we've got to stop the bullying because if we stop the bullying, kids won't be going and looking for guns. You know, that's the thing. If so, if my hope and prayer through this bully prevention course is by empowering the parents, because you guys are out there in the communities, we're dealing with the school, school staff, and we're doing a pretty good job there, but you guys are key as the parents, the moms, especially you guys are the movers and shakers. So empowering you guys about how to infiltrate. <laughs> I haven't used that word about this yet, but it is to get word out to the entire community that let's stop bullying in our community so that yes, we may be stopping it in this area, but then if my kid is in this area, they're going to get bullied there. So what we need, so, you know, with what just happened with that gun legislation, we need everyone to come together to stop the bullying. If we had the effort, that happened with that gun legislation. If we had that effort from everyone, from our legislators, everybody, our leaders, our um, everyone um, in a community, we could stop the bullying. And you know what's interesting is, you know, people say, "Well, it's been going on forever." My grandma and grandpa, you know, and it is. But you know what's amazing? And this is my my hope. Um, as we were preparing our bionic teams to do the bully prevention, the prevent bullying by just saying hi. Um, videos and everything like that. We have lots of stuff about this on our website. Our kids said, you know, Miss Austin, you know, because I told them, I said, you guys, my generation has failed you guys. They said, Miss Austin, maybe our generation can be the generation to stop bullying once and for all. Oh, oh wow. isn't that incredible for the kids? Yeah. That's the kids. Now we got to help them. That's their hope and dream. So let's do it. Let's give them everything they need to make that happen. So I just talked for uh, I think two hours straight, Mona. So anyway, but thank you. And um, I'm just so excited. This is my hope and my hope and prayer and dream is that, you know, these kids, we can empower these kids to be the generation to stop bullying once and for all. Wouldn't it be incredible? It, uh, it absolutely would. And um, I'm just the hope that you bring with the wisdom and it's so well done. And I think that the sad thing is as parents, we don't know what to do and our hearts are broken on both sides, whether yeah. you have a kid that bullies and doesn't bully. And yeah. we just, we really just want to lash out. And we, it's because parents feel um, inadequate and they feel like they don't have any other option. Yeah. And it's not always the best thing for schools to sit and try to figure it out. You know, I mean, they do need the schools to be involved. But like you said, some some schools aren't even telling the parents what's going right. on. You know, when it, it when it happened to, to me, uh, to my kids, uh, bullying actually happened to me. So I, I get this big time. I get this big time. What I wouldn't have given to have. Well, I actually did find somebody. But I, for somebody to walk me from my where the bus dropped me off at the school to my locker 
so I could get to my first class with because oh. you had to you have to go through the big hall like mm-hmm. you don't get to pick who is in yeah. your school they're just there um, mm-hmm. fortunately for me it ended up being this really good looking blonde guy <laughs> just saying so I married him <laughs> I love it oh <laughs> yeah Warren would Warren would walk with me and I mean nobody was gonna um do anything when I was walking with. So I don't suggest that to all my girls. Go find a really good looking guy and walk with him. We don't want to do that. (laughs) I love it. But the point is, I had somebody to go with me. And um, I was the new girl at school. I mean, it just, it it got more and more complicated. And, you know, my mom didn't know what to tell me, you know. And uh, the advice of my dad was probably not best. I mean, (laughs) trust me, it wasn't. He grew up in South Detroit, so you can imagine what his advice was. But just knowing that there is a place that we can go to actually learn these things. And, you know, I'm saying it again. Motherhood is not a natural talent. It's a skill and you can learn it. We have to learn these kind of things. Moms like us have to learn these kind of things. Mm-hmm. Sandy, um, I'm going to put the link in um in the show notes for the moms to be able to get a hold of this vital, um, this is a vital curriculum that I Mm. think that they can do. Um, Where else can they get it? From your website or is that where where you're going to send us? Yes, from our website, right. And and so for your moms, uh, it's $49. You know, a lot of people said charge $190. No, I want the moms to be able to afford it. And so, but for your moms, so it's typically $49. But for your moms, I want to give you guys a $20 off wow. uh, coupon code. And it's 20 off. So when you're signing up, just do 20OFF uh, when you're signing up for that course. And, and then you'll be able to get it. And again, it's uh, 12 lessons and uh, the, the, the handouts and everything to how to talk to your kids about it. We all, and I didn't mention this before, but I also talk about how to see the signs of bullying. Cause again, as I said, mm-hmm. some of the bullies say, don't say anything. Yeah. So if you know, something's going on, but you don't know what it is. We talked about that. What are those signs wow. to be aware of? That is, that. that is vital. That is absolutely mm-hmm. vital because, because mm-hmm. of the depression, the depression right. and everything else. This is, this is like learning. Am, am I being, am I being overly dramatic? If I say this is like CPR uh, it's no, it, 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 yeah, you're not being over, overly dramatic because you can be saving a kid's life, your child's life, and you can uh, almost resurrect them from the, the depression that they're spiraling down into to, to be who they are. And what's amazing is kids have been part of our bionic teams or that we've reached out to probably 80% want to join bionic. Um, uh, the others probably don't because they don't have time, <laughs> but anyway, but that's it. Um, it just because I've seen kids that have been bullied that are so down and stuff. And um, before we did bionic and everything, we were trying everything through peer counseling and we weren't reaching them. And this is like, oh my gosh, these kids are getting the hope and, and the connection to know you're, you're okay. You know, you're not weird and you're not weak and you're not, you know, but there are people here that care about you. And uh, maybe they didn't know them yet, but they're seeing it going, oh, wow. Uh, so there are plenty of kids out there that care. They want this, to this, and them. that's like that, that creates lifetime friendships. Yes, it does. Or, or exactly. marriages. Oh, oh, I have a story about that too. I won't <laughs> tell you now, but oh yes, that's what happened. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. So this is great. So it, in all your experience, which you are loaded with experience, you have uh, awards abundantly. You've impacted traumatic, traumatic places. Mm-hmm in our country. You are a national treasure. You really are. You have given, you have given kids the ability to make a difference in other people's lives and taught them the very foundations of what we would want in a good society, what you would want in a good community, what you would like to see in your own home. I mean, all this stuff can be applied to your kids to siblings too. And like you said in, in part one about uh, integrating with the older people and um, family members and stuff. And then you are equipping moms and dads to know how to handle this thing when it 
it blows up in front of your face. That's not a very good word considering what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, well, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Uh, but no. when, it, when it, you know, when it becomes real for your family and you mm -hmm. have to deal with being bullied or, you know, your kid being a bully, like I mm -hmm. had one that was bullying people and, well, it didn't take very long. I wish I had had your, <laughs> your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, little pull of the hair and a couple new friends and a grounding oh. for a while. She was good, but there you go. Mm. Truly, it is mm -hmm. it is great and a great honor. I'm so grateful that you mm. were here with us again today, and you're such a blessing. Thank you so much. And I know you're going to be speaking to the academy and moms yes. in the moms like us academy. You are in for some learning. So um, make sure you uh, find that there in the Academy. And I'll, I will talk to you, Little Miss, later. Thanks Thank for joining you, us. Bless all you moms out there. Take care. Hang in there. Get that support that you need uh, on any uh, on this school year coming up, whether you're, uh, whether you're sending your kids to schools or if you're homeschooling, whatever. Hang in there and get a support network around you to be able to encourage you. Thank you. And that, that is exactly it. That, uh, again, this is what moms like us do. We pull together, we help each other. What a great, what a great way to, to meet up with your friends and to go through this curriculum together. And I just, um, I encourage you moms to, um, find, uh, the bionic stuff, the bionic team stuff that Sandy Austin has, and also her parent, uh, her bullying, uh, program for parents and, and, and educate yourself. Bullying is not okay under any circumstances. And yes, it's been around for a long time. And yes, it will be uh, around for a long time. But wouldn't you like it if it wasn't your kid? I would. Wouldn't you love it if it wasn't your school? I would. So why don't you impact your area of your world and make a difference there? Because moms like us, we do things like this. We learn how to help our kids with bullying and not bullying and how to be kind and have empathy and compassion for other people. And we do it in a way that we are involved. And within our families, we grow strong kids that really, truly will be making a difference in the world to come. So that's it for today. We will see you next time on Moms Like Us Do Things Like This. Bye for now.